Hello! My name is Katie, you're on the channel To Be Read, and today I am here with a non-spoiler review of Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Let me just start off by saying how amazing this book is. It is so great, and it had so much hype prior to the release. It even had a movie deal arranged before the release date of the book. That is how much confidence there was that this book was going to be a success. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed whatsoever. The hype totally lived up in my opinion. Children of Blood and Bone is a African-inspired fantasy novel with magic and politics and the main storyline is a journey to bring back magic in the kingdom of Orisha because there is this evil dictator who is basically very, very um, biased in his opinion and he believes that all the magi are evil and scourges and need to be put to death which is basically a genocide of one culture so we're finding that characters in this novel are being persecuted against because of the fact that they have magic this novel is told from three perspectives it is told from the perspective of um, Zaylee who is a child of a magi and she has the abilities within her so she's very much persecuted against and then there is also Amai and Inan who are the children of the king who is doing this to Zaylee and people like Zaylee. There are very strong familial themes in this novel. We have Zayn and Zaylee who are brother and sister and their journey while at the same time having the contrast of Amari and Inan's journey as well. The magic system in this novel is very intricate and interesting and it keeps you gripped because guys, this is a very long novel but it didn't feel tedious to read. I wanted to know what would happen next and I'd find myself having to go back to work or having to stop reading and do something else and not wanting to because I wanted to finish this and it was almost painful to have to put this book down. That is how much I enjoyed myself while reading Children of Blood and Bone. Uh, there are quite a few scenes in here where there is discussion around the Black Lives Matter movement in a fantasy novel. So where brutality is happening because of a fear that there is a history of violence so they're going to strike out and eliminate that violence by eliminating everybody. There are some extremely tough scenes in this novel where I felt my gut just drop because I was invested in something that was happening and it all went pear-shaped and I just I could not believe what was happening and I love that the author has decided to discuss these real world topics in a fantasy novel. So while you are still getting the concepts of things that are happening in reality, you are getting the fantasy fix that a lot of us do enjoy and you're able to understand other people's perspectives by reading it within a work that Tommy has created and thank you so much Tommy because this is an amazing novel and it's her debut novel too so that is just amazing. Each of the characters have a journey to undertake within this novel and the journeys that they take are so different and they all begin from a different starting point. They all have a different point of view that they bring to this narrative and how it combines and leads us to the conclusion of this novel which is just all so climatic and I just want to get the next book because I just need to know what's going to happen. Oh my gosh guys, no this can't be the end. I think I appreciated this novel all the more because we did get the different perspectives and in particular Inan's perspective because 
He jumped backwards and forwards so many times. You almost want to put a lasso around him and go, just stick to one point of view, mate. He was just everywhere and you can understand where he was coming from because of his upbringing and then seeing what was happening in real life and then he went back again and forward again and back again. You never knew exactly where his loyalties lay and that just added to the suspense in the novel. I did enjoy the fact that we got a mini squad in Zaylee, Zayn, Amari and Inan and got to see their journey through the book even though they were not always together. Zane is practically the unsung hero of this novel. He is such a pillar of support for our protagonists even though he is a side character. He is such a strength to be reckoned with and I cannot commend him enough for what he has done even though he is not the hero it's similar to Buffy, if you will, that you've got Xander and the Scooby gang who support Buffy. That was kind of like how I saw Zane in this novel, that he was a support figure, an unsung hero, but he also had a part to play. The magic system in this novel is so lush and intricate and different to anything I've seen before, and I really loved that we got that perspective and my understanding is it's rooted in some African cultures which is so beautiful that we get a perspective of another culture within this novel. Guys I simply cannot recommend this book enough. It is pretty definitely going to make my top books of 2018 list. I loved it so much. I will absolutely be rereading it before Children of Virtue and Vengeance come out. And yeah, this was an amazing book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. If I could have, I would have given it 10 out of 10 stars. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Children of Blood and Bone. And if you haven't read it, whether or not you are planning on picking it up because I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the like button down below. And for now, keep calm and read on. Bye!